cannot find this cargo. We don't know what uh, uh, Capital Oil has done with it. As I speak to you today, the account for this transaction is in debit of over 21 billion naira and accumulating interest of close to 380 million naira every month. Mm. If you leave it in one year, you are going to accumulate 3.8 million naira, uh, 3.8 billion. In another two years, you are getting to about 28 billion. If I just say, I will pay, I will pay. If I can't pay you, I'll take my life, I'll pay. You know, and every month he put 100 million, he put, sometimes put 80 million. So the last six months, five weeks, he put only 40 million naira in the bank. Mm. And he was spending money like somebody who is going to commit suicide, buying houses, 30 million dollars, buying vessels, living like a king, flying to private jet. So I said, wait a minute. Somebody told me he went to Anambra State some few weeks ago and we are sp spraying dollar on top of some women. Not in the same business. Usually from my state, we have many entrepreneurs and because of the culture we have, um, you know, too many of us are bound that we don't get to meet each other. And mm -hmm. more importantly, myself, I'm very reserved individual based on my humble beginning. You don't see me in a club. I don't get to get in so many places. I focus on my business and in my religion and then, you know, just live a humble life and focus on the things that uh, makes me happy and, uh, you know, make life uh, progressing. Then the second time I got to meet Tiffany was four years ago when I turned 50, you know, during my 50th birthday, he came along with some other people, you know, greeted me and we never get to meet until um, uh, some other time that he called me on the phone, you know, explaining to me he has some difficulties and he will require my assistant. All right. Now, now, at what point did this bet day meeting become a business discussion and at what time did you <coughs> seal it into a business? Precisely last year, May, I was in my office. I got a call and behold, it was a Ifan Yoba of Capital Oil that was on the phone. He spoke to me, you know, distressly that he had a problem and that the banks are trying to close up on him and he will require my assistant. And I asked him what kind of problem was it. You know, he told me that, you know, he was owing Union Bank and that the banks are trying to close up on him. And um, if I could please, you know, come to his aid. Basically, I told him what really happened. You know, what, what really happened. The issue was he tried to explain. I said, look, let's get this matter straight. Some of you young guys are so much in a hurry to make money, failing to understand that enduring success is not a product of chance you know mm -hmm. it's characterized by a clear vision working hard and works out over a period of time it's not an event but a process i will simply advise you why not um get rid of some of your assets and pay down on your loan and start all over again that what is important is what happened in you not what happened around you i share some experiences to him how i started and at the time things went bad i you know, I have confidence in myself. That's what is important. But I, you still helped him. I want to get to where okay. I help him because okay. I try to say the story. I, yeah. So I gave him this kind of advice. He wanted me to come eventually. I went to his place and saw his uh, tank farm and felt, wow, this is a young man from my state that I've been able to achieve things like this. So he told me, he tells the two stories. The bottom line is that the, that people gang up against him and made negative story. They want to take over his business. He needed my assistant. So I took him to the bank to see if they could assist him. You know, the bank where I, am, I was a shareholder and, you know, I have business with. I went to the bank. In fact, I moved around the banks, not just one bank. I started from Fidelity Bank. I called the manager. Said, Don't talk about it fine again. I called uh, a mayfair of a, uh, of a, of a Zenit right. bank. I went through all the bank. Nobody was willing to help him. So much uncomplimentary news about him. I went to Access Bank. The same story repeated. So I called him and said, hey, wait a minute. There's so much things people are saying about you. What would really get you to this place? Mm -hmm. He explained he was building structure. You know, he was trying to build his tank farm. He, you know, before the banking deregulation and that created him problem. But now he's a changed man. He wants to focus in his trade. I said, fine, you look me straight in the eye and tell me that if I assist you, you are not going to betray, betray me. You say, if you assist me, I said, tell me that if I assist you, you are not going to get into any additional capital project. Because 
The problem with the boys from my state is that quite a number of them mismatch their funds, mm. take a short time fund and put in a long time project. You know, at the end of the day, the interest rate get you stagnated because you, you couldn't finish that business in time to be able to get the money. I told him the second thing is that it's not, in my view, his, his business is not properly structured. And it's hard for a bank to give people like him money in the sense that, you know, the, it's like the A to Z of the business. I say, if you are not here, who else can anybody talk to? You know, try to make all of, all of this. Eventually, I took him to the, to the bank and they were not willing to do anything. So, mm. I come back, I said, um, I asked the bank, I said, we must lend this guy money. He wanted to trade, you know, let's assist him. Okay. They were of opinion that this is not what they want to do. Go ahead. Uh, now, the, you, you, were, you were severely warned by people not to help him. That's right. What made you have a change of heart? Okay. Listen, where I come from, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm from Newe, okay? We had a kind of a, a social welfare system where we are our brother's keeper. You know, in fact, if you come to our place, we, we, we understand what supplier credit is all about. That is to say... When I import goods, we always give goods to some other person to sell and return money. When some of my, you would even ask, how did Costaris build the, the capital that with which he does the business today the way it is? It's by the same means. I don't, we don't, I'm not in a hurry to invest in property, in building. Somebody like me had a clear vision that I needed capital, which is the, in, the, the, the machine that makes your business move. Mm. So I give a lot of credit to a lot of people. You sell the goods, you return the money. So Ifani, when I confronted Ifani about his situation, he, he told some pathetic story. One of them is that he played a, a, a tribal sentiment to me. He said he came to Lagos. I know how our people struggle. He had this jetty in a papa where three vessels can bat. And that look at all these people in this business, uh, Femi Otodola, this other person, all integrated, or that all of them have only one jetty. And all the people in this area were crazy. How can an Ibu man come here and have three jetty that leads a part? That that's why they want to stagnate him to death. I called the bank again. I said, what risk do we have that we open letter of credit this guy get a consignment we get uh, an agent to be able to put this in a dedicated tank so that we can sell these goods and take the money back to pay he takes his profit <laughs> the banks laugh and say this guy don't let anybody see you on a picture with him on my honor so much things were said that was on it. i said no this cannot be true a human being cannot be this bad it's not possible at, so, you know, it, 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 I felt truly that, they are, that the way people say things about him touched my heart and I felt this cannot be true. All right. Uh, let, let me hold you there, Dr. Uh, uh, Madoka. Now, this is a man who has been accused of 22.4 billion naira in full subsidy scam yeah. and obviously is up to debt in $1 billion to banks and, you know, so many businesses. And you were warned. You know, and like they say, to be forewarned is to be forearmed. Yeah. You, you, however, I see that you're a very sen sentimental and very uh, loving person. And yeah. I'm sure you took him on because you trusted he would pay back. Sure. Now, at what point did, you, did he begin to default? Okay, let me explain this transaction. You know, because I, I'm, I, I, I actually am a risk manager. Okay. So actually to be an entrepreneur, you know, I have to manage risk. Yeah. I, you can't do business with avoiding risk. Okay. It's about taking a calculated risk. <laughs> Sponsoring Koja was a risk for me to put 300, uh, 1,000 BMW into the hand of the Nigerian government without any payment. Everybody warned me against it. Bank warned me against it. I can see through risk. What is important is that can you mitigate the risk? Can you manage the risk? If you avoid risk, you cannot be in business. Mm. Bis risk is part of the aspect of being business. So what happened was that I think I could see through this risk. There are things you can predict is possible. There are things that you it's never happened. Mm. This is my 38 years in business, not 37, 38 years. It's unprecedented. I've never had a story that you open a letter of credit for somebody to import consignment. Letter of credit for those who do not know is a form of payment for importing goods. It's like 
guarantee that if you ship these goods, we see the documents, we pay you. And when this guy send the documents to the bank, the bank now pay the, 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 the shipper. Never in the history of my life that a bank received a shipping documents that consignment has been shipped that is coming on vessel so so name mm -hmm. and it was on board on such and such date that you wait for one year the consignment did not arrive in nigeria even if the mole is carrying that consignment it will arrive so we started this business my idea was to let's take one step at a time it is petroleum premium spirit were important so I, when the bank refused to assist Efanya initially, was to assist him, and they made so much negative news, I said, okay, I'll take the responsibility, and I'll become the direct obrigor. This facility was availed to Koscharis, and I signed. Incidentally, I am also a director in the bank. And under prudential guideline of central bank, director's loan, there's no interest waiver on it. Mm. Okay. And I have borrowed all my life. I've never defaulted. I have an, a history, in, not only in this country, but around the world. Big organizations like BMW, Land Rover, Jaguar, all of them deal with me on open account. They consign goods to me, give me 40 days or 60 days, 180 days as the case may be, and I will pay. American government guarantee my shipment to Nigeria for... Even if there's a sovereign, sovereign, sovereign problem, this country, the, the bank that guarantee my supplier in U.S., the U.S. government will pay them, Exim Bank. I am the only company, we are the only company in Nigeria that they do this without a local bank taking a collateral from them. Mm. By the virtue of this credit I built, every bank in Nigeria will work with us on open account. So you can understand how the pain it takes to build this level of credibility mm. that give, made these funds available at my disposal. Yes, yes, yes. I never take a risk I cannot discount. Just let nobody make mistake about it. So, I wanted to start just by one cargo. One, a, a, that is a vessel load. A vessel load of this petroleum premium spirit costs only about 30 to 35 million dollars. We did the first one. The first consignment arrived. If I say he will clean it in 38 days, Within 32 days, he paid. We did the second one, he paid. We did the third one, he paid. Up to the sixth time, I didn't know it was a bet to get me into his hook. The dynamics of this transaction is that we appointed a receiver manager, that is not a receiver manager, but a, a, like an inspection agent called Vibra Adventure, who stay in their tank farm, and the complete tank is dedicated for our product. Because this LC is supposed to be paid by the proceeds of the sales. So mm. the guarantee where the money was supposed to receive is on the, in the same product. Mm. So when this LC is open, if any will nominate a vessel to go and load our, and inform our agent, he will be on the board, then go offshore Kotonu or wherever. They load the product, come and discharge it in this dedicated tank. When it's in this tank, then... They, as they sell the goods, money come into the bank. The bank will give authority to the agent to release cargo to them. As the bank release to the agent, agent release to him and they are loading the individuals who had paid to oh. truck out. Mm. Six transactions follow the same pattern between July and October. By October, if I then approach me with seven documents worth over 200 and something million dollars, saying Please, that there's going to be a deregulation. I have seen the way the other one happened. I, if I can please open this LC at once so that they can get this cargo. I said, how long will it take you to clean it? It says 70 days. And then I went, signed on on this, and the bank opened the LC for $278 million. And we're waiting for consignment till today. Hmm. And up to today, the consignment did not come. So you say, at what point? It's October. Because he had done six transaction successfully. That gave me confidence that this six transaction is actually in excess of over $200 million also, mm -hmm. so that this is going to work out fine. So when we waited January, we didn't see goods getting to February, I 
told him, why not we cancel the unconfirmed LC? Because our idea was that as you pay money, mm. we will add confirmation on that one. Mm. They accepted. We cancel the three other LC that what about $90 million. He left the other remaining ones. Those are the things we are still talking about it. today. We cannot find this cargo. We don't know what a, a capital oil has done with it. As I speak to you today, the account for this transaction is in debit of over 21 billion naira and accumulating interest of close to 380 million naira every month. Mm. If you leave it in one year, you are going to accumulate 3.8 million naira, uh, uh, 3.8 billion. In another two years, you are getting to about 28 billion. If mm. I just say, I will pay, I will pay. If I can't pay you, I'll take my life, I will pay. You know, and every month he put 100 million, he put, sometimes put 80 million. So the last six months, five weeks, he put only 40 million naira in the bank. Mm. And he was spending money like somebody who is going to commit suicide, buying houses, 30 million dollars, buying vessels, living like a king, flying to private jet. So I said, wait a minute. Somebody told me you went to Anambra State some few weeks ago and we are sp spraying dollar on top of some women.